guys, it's me again. I'm doing another quick unboxing video from a company based in Calgary, Alberta called Sweetest Candy. The owner, Kate, was so generous to reach out to me on my Instagram through DMs and she offered to send me a couple of goodies as a gift and I am grateful and I would love to share that with you guys and show you what I got. And yeah, let's jump into it. So I have no idea what's in here. So, um... Many unbearable hours later. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's in here. I guess that's the whole point. She wrote me a lovely little note. What a total sweetheart, and both of us are named Kate. Twinsies! What a sweetie. So first up, we have a little magic wand. Um, this looks like I could probably dip it in bath water and like blow on it and it'll make bubbles. So um, yeah, I'm probably gonna try that because I'm five years old at heart. Awesome. Okay, first up we have this gorgeous little bath bomb. Um, I'll pop the name on the screen so you guys can see. Um, as I've probably said many times, I love me a donut bath bomb because like the phone comes up in the middle as well as like around the side, so it just looks really pretty in the water. Um, I can't quite get it through the package. It is sealed pretty, like it is sealed pretty well. So um, I will unwrap it and I'll pop in a little explanation of my first impressions of the scent right here. So here is my blue donut bath bomb. Um, I just remembered that I believe this donut is called Donuts for Breakfast or Breakfast Donut. Um, so yeah, I th it's something about eating donuts at breakfast time. So super cute. Love the name. Um, once it's out of the package, you can really see that there's like this navy blue shimmer as well as gold shimmer. Gold shimmer. I have a band-aid on my finger. Stay tuned till the rest of the video to find out how I cut my finger. They ask you how you are, you just have to. Um, yeah, so the scent of this for me, um, it's kind of like sweet blueberry. I am, um, it reminds me of blue candy floss. Um, you know how the blue candy floss kind of I honest, they are probably made out of the same thing, but to me, the blue candy floss has more of a berry flavor. What? And maybe I'm an insane person. But maybe because it's blue, I smell more of like a blueberry raspberry like slushy scent alongside the like sweet candy floss cotton candy smell that's in there as well so yeah i'm super excited to use this i think it's super cute um anything donut shaped is i'm about it like it's good with me good i just said it's good with me like it's good with me it's good that's good with <laughs> but yeah it, it's cool by me i love me and blue blue donut i don't know what i'm saying anymore let's get back to the unboxing Oh my god, this is a little tiara. Get out of here. It's like a hairpin tiara so I can like put it on my head. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm a princess beach. <laughs> That's so funny. Thanks, Kate. Holy wow. Okay, so obviously this is a beautiful waffle bath bomb. Um, on here it says it's cherry grape. 
again, I, I can't get a clear take on the scent and I don't want to lie to you guys, so I'm going to unwrap it and I'll pop in what I think of the scent right here. All right, so here's the beautiful waffle bomb out of the package. Um, I just actually quickly Googled what this was called because I wanted to make sure that I'm like calling it the right thing because this is probably my favorite thing so far um, that I've seen in this order. It's absolutely stunning. Um, this is called Dark Sky Waffle Bomb. As soon as I got it out of the package, it smells almost identical to Cherry Dr. Pepper. If you've ever tried that. Dr. Pepper. Um, it has a really beautiful, like, fizzy cherry fragrance. Um, I don't get much of a grape scent from it, but um, maybe that's just because my brain is screaming Dr. Pepper so loud that I can't hear the grape, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm totally obsessed with this gorgeous monster. Um, you can see, like, I'm holding it. It's as, it's as big as my hand, like, spread out. Um, it's it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's as long as my hand and absolutely beautiful. I don't know how else I can tell you that I really like it, but I really like it and I really like it. So yeah, I really like it. But I really like it, but I really like it, and I really like it. So yeah, I really like it. Okay, back to the unboxing. <laughs> I am obsessed with waffle bath bombs. This is absolutely stunning. I love the the shade. It's like black and blue and purple and the blue is kind of shimmery and glittery, like super cute. Um, yeah, I really appreciate this, Kate. Thank you so much. I can't wait to do a little demo of this and pop it on Instagram and YouTube for everybody to see. Um, yeah, it's super adorable. Next. I love the shape of this. This is super cute. Okay. So here we have, this is also a bath bomb. Oh. Paper swallowed on me. So this is also a bath bomb. I'll pop the name up on the screen so you guys know. Um, because I'll, I'm sorry, I don't know off the top of my head what things are called, but I will look them up so you guys can know by the time you watch this video. This one I can kind of smell through the wrapper. It has a cotton candy bubblegum type of a scent, very similar to Snow Fairy from Lush. Um, I will still unwrap it. I'll get into a little bit more detail and I'll unwrap it for you guys and tell you what I think it smells like right here. So here is the Prism Bath Bomb out of the package. I will flash the name up on the screen right here. And yeah, out of the package, it smells very very similar to Snow Fairy uh, shower gel or Snow Fairy body conditioner or any of the Snow Fairy Lush products um, that I've smelled before. Usually Lush brings out that cotton candy bubblegum scent around Christmas time. Um, but yeah, it has a very sweet, sweet candy scent. Um, it's very strong. Um, for me, I really like it um, because I do really like sweet scents. For me, it's a, it's a winner. It's bright pink. It's turquoise. It's a really unique shape and I'm into it, like fully into it. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll post the demo as soon as I have a chance to try it out. Yeah, back to the unboxing. So yeah, I love the prism shape, like pyramid, pyramid prism. Do I know shapes? Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to Google that. All right. Anyways, um, this bath bomb is super cute. I'm really impressed by the, like, the shape and the cool colors on top. And I can kind of see that it may have a poke of purple in the middle. So yeah, I can't wait to do a little demo with this guy. It's gonna be cute. I think I know what this is and I'm gonna make a prediction before I unwrap it. On her Instagram, I'll throw it up right here on the screen, there was a lovely little pie-shaped bath bomb. And I have a feeling that's what's inside this wrapper. And yeah, I think it's super cute and unique. So let's look. I was right. 
Oh my gosh, this is so much bigger than I thought just by seeing a photo of it on Instagram. Like, this is way bigger than I felt like it was. This is almost... I don't have very big hands. I have little hands, I would say. Um, but yeah, it's a good, good size. And it's like an inch, inch and a half. Pink, green, blue, white, speckles on the top. Very cute. Mm, not sure if I can sniff this through the wrapper. I, I don't know if I can smell this through the wrapper or if I'm still smelling the other one. I'm gonna pop in, I'm gonna unwrap it and pop something in right here to describe what this smells like. So here's our pie bath bomb out of the wrapper. Absolutely gorgeous. As soon as I took it out, it gives me like honey toffee vibes. Not quite the same as like a honey I washed the kids scent from Lush, but it is definitely a little bit similar. To me, it's like a perfumey honey. Um, like Italian desserts, if that makes sense, like creme brulee. Um, it smells really good. It smells edible, but it also smells like edible perfume. But yeah, I like it. It's super cute. The scent is quite strong. Um, so yeah, awesome. And yeah, I really, I really like the shape of this. It's cute, so I'll do a demo of it really soon. Last but not least, here. When we were talking in DMs, Kate, the owner of Sweetest Candy, um, was a asked me to look at her shop and tell me, tell her, my, my bad, sorry, misspoke, um, she asked me to tell her what I liked the most and this product looked so cool. You guys know I love Fun from Lush, the Play-Doh soap. I'll pop a little picture up right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but Lush Fun is like a moldable Play-Doh soap and it's one of my favorite products and this looked super similar but it was like a fresh take on Fun so I really wanted to try it, I really wanted to sniff it. This is called Bubble Bath Dough and it's scented in peach lime. Ow! Ow! Flashback. I have a band-aid on my finger. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're Ow. Okay. Gently, we're gonna open this up. I think I was just way too excited there. Ow. Y'all that hurts. Anyway, okay, so to me, when I sniff this, it um, smells very similar to um, the, I don't know if they have them year round, but 7-Eleven has like peach slushies. This reminds me of the taste of that. Yeah, it smells really good. It's, it's also reminding me of something. Um, it has a little bit of a perfumey note to it. It's not just straight fruity scent. Um, it, it's very unique. It's kind of a complex scent. I really like it. Um, like sour peach, alcohol, lime, margarita. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. to my finger. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Anyways, that's it for the unboxing. Um. Thank you so much to Kate from Sweetest Candy for being so generous and kind as to share her products with me. It's really, really above and beyond. Like, I don't expect this. I don't go out of my way to ever ask for free products. I realize how much time and effort and money has gone into these things and I wouldn't for one second take for granted the fact that she is so kind and generous to send this to me. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I really truly deserve this but it really does mean a lot to me that um, she noticed me on uh, social media and she wanted to share this with me. Um, stay tuned for demos and more thoughts on these products because I'm sure that they're going to be fantastic. Um, 
Thanks so much for watching my video if you watched it. I hope uh, everyone is happy and smiling and I really wish you all the best. So, bye bye! Seal, seal, like it is sealed. Seal.